Alright. So in the last video, we finished up with the X bearing block. So the next thing we need to work on is we need to work on a cover to go right here for our bearing. So what I want to do is just get to the front view here. And then I want to create a sketch. And we're going to put it on this face right here. Like so. And then let me turn these bodies off and turn the sketches on. And we need this sketch. We just need those sketches right there. That's basically all we need right there. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is draw a circle. And we want to go to our center point, and we want our circle to be 20 millimeters. Our ball screw is 20 millimeters, but our bearing race is 15, but we're going to have a sleeve on there uh, that's going to be pushing up against that race, and so we need clearance for that, so we'll make it 20 millimeters. Our second circle is going to be 55 millimeters. This is the outside diameter. And then one more circle for bearing race, which is 35 millimeters. Okay. And then we need to sketch these points to bolt it up. We'll go back to the points that we had on our bearing block here. And that's pretty much it. We're going to stop our sketch. We can turn this off. Okay, so we want to go to modify, press pull, select Our cover here be positive 3.35. There we go. Okay, let me turn our that on. There we go. All right, and then we're going to go over to the back side, and we're going to modify, press, pull. Now, one thing I want to show you here is you can right click, and it'll give you these. And you can just select the last thing you did here. Repeat press pull or press pull. And we select the center portion. And we want to move it three millimeters. So minus 3.0. Okay, you can kind of see what we've got going on here. And we've got our four holes. And then one last thing I want to do is I want to go to modify fillet or chamfer. Let's chamfer these edges. Chamfer this edge and this edge. Right here, we can chamfer this edge a little bit too, as well. All right, let's try three millimeters. Maybe just one millimeter would be enough. Okay, one's too much. So, how about just a little bit, 0.5? We just really want to knock the corner off. 
not really too much. Okay, so 0.5 millimeter. All right, let me save my drawing. I did all this work. I want to make sure it gets saved. Okay, uh, let's turn our block on here. Our holes line up. Okay. Let me see if we can show you side view here. And we kind of look inside the, you can see inside the hole there. You can see the little chamfer that we put on there. And then I want to measure this distance between this wall and this wall. And we have 29.8. And that's right. That's good to go. Exactly where I wanted it to be. Okay, so we've done that. There's our table and our end bearing. Moving right along. Okay, so that takes care of our bearing block and our bearing cover. So stay tuned for the next video where we're going to work on our X spacer and our stepper motor mount. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.